Vision Forward's In Focus team presents. Hi there, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward. Welcome to another tech demo. A demonstration of the eSight 3 electronic glasses. In this week's tech demo, we're going to be taking a look at the eSight 3 electronic wearable glasses. These are made by eSight in Canada and they feature a very nicely designed headset here, which is nice and slim, lightweight and attractive. And this is connected to a control panel by a wire. And of course, using this, we're able to zoom in on things, change the color of them and a whole lot more. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the features. Now, eSight is designed for people who are low vision. It does not work for people who are blind. And it's designed to enhance the existing vision of people with a visual impairment. And one of the ways that it does this is magnification. Uh, as I said before, to, the, to my left is a television displaying what I'm seeing inside the glasses here. And so there's two video screens inside the glasses, one for each eye. And there's a camera in the front of the glasses. Wherever the camera points, it will then send that image to the screens. And so at the moment, I'm looking out in front of me. Let's take a look at the magnification. This is done with a dial on the left side of, of the controller as I am looking at the controller. So I'm going to roll that dial times. upward. Two times. Four times. And eSight is telling me the magnification level. I can turn off the voice if I want to. I'm at four times magnification. Let's look at the exit sign at the top here. Excellent, that looks good. Let's zoom in a little bit more. 6.1 times. Okay, very cool. Four times, two times, one times. And now we'll zoom out. So uh, that was very good. Now eSight magnifies, as far as I'm aware, more than any other headborne wearable on the market, over 20 times magnification, which is, is really quite good. So we can zoom in on things which are a long way out and bring them in close so that we can see them. Now you may notice that when I zoom in or even when I'm talking, the image does bounce around. And part of that is because I'm talking and so when I'm talking, naturally my head is moving. But even when I'm not talking, um, there is still some natural head movement which occurs. You can learn to control this, but it does take practice. And the more magnified you are, the more noticeable it will be. And so that's definitely worth bearing in mind. But if you persevere, then you can learn to really keep your head nice and steady. So just now we were looking into the distance with the eSight, uh, but it can also focus up close. And so we can use it for tasks such as reading. And that's what we're going to try now. So I'm going to go ahead and hold up this document in front of me. And at the moment it's quite small, so let's zoom in on it to make it a little bit larger here. Five times, two times, four times. And now that's looking pretty good, but I want a bit more contrast. One way to do this is to use the dial, which is located on the right hand side here. Here we go, right at the top right hand side. If I roll that up, it's going to increase the contrast. So let's try that. Enhance more. Enhance more. Cool, and now the blacks are blacker and the whites are whiter, but even so, that's still not quite enough. So now I'm going to use that same dial, but I'm going to press it in, and it will change the color of the text for better contrast. Contrast mode set to black slash white. There's a very bright black text on a white background. Contrast mode set to white slash black. A very bright white text on a black background, and let's explore the other colors. Contrast mode set to black slash contrast mode set to blue slash white. Contrast mode set to blue slash yellow. Contrast mode set to yellow slash blue. Contrast mode set to grayscale. Contrast mode set to normal. And now we are back times. to normal. 1.5 times. And so with those colors, they can really help us to uh, read because they make the contrast of the text very good, very vivid. And uh, whether we're trying to read in the distance or up close, that type of contrast can be extremely beneficial. Now, eSight has another little trick up its sleeve when it comes to magnification, and that is manual focusing capabilities. So you can tell the eSight to uh, automatically focus, or you can tell it that you want to manually focus yourself, or you can set it so that even if it is automatically focusing, you can still dial in the manual focus. So if things aren't looking quite as sharp as you want, then you can sharpen them up. And the dial for that is again on the right hand side, but it's a bit further down than the color and the contrast um, uh, dial. So let's take a look at that now. We're going to zoom in on the exit sign again. Four times. Four times. 
Okay, now it is in focus at the moment. I'm going to purposely use the focusing dial though to put that out of focus. So I'm going to go ahead and roll down on the dial. And now hopefully you can tell that it's gone out of focus. Let me go ahead and roll the dial up now and it should come back into focus. Good, okay, and that looks like it's back in focus now. So excellent. Now, in this case, it was already in focus, so that was unnecessary. But if we do zoom in a lot, sometimes we find that we do need to dial in some, uh, some manual focus, and we are certainly able to do that. One of the cool things about eSight is the fact you're able to walk while wearing it. And the way that we can do that is by using its bioptic tilt feature. And uh, in this, uh, uh, with this feature, we can actually tilt the electronic part upward. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to tilt it all the way up. And now my field of view is completely unobscured. And so I can walk uh, using my existing vision. If we're looking into the screens when we walk, we run the risk of crashing into things because things may appear to be closer than they are. Uh, and it may be restricting our kind of peripheral vision and things like that. But another thing that we can do, instead of lifting the electronic visor all the way up, we can have it halfway up like this. So now I can still see underneath and I still have um, usable, you know, my, my normal vision to walk around with. But if I wanted to look at something, I can look up into the video screens. And of course, I would have all the controls of magnification and colors and things like that that I could use. And so while I'm moving, I'm looking underneath. If I want to look at something, stop, look up into the video screens, and then I can you know, magnify whatever I want to see. Uh, the other option, of course, is to bring the visor all the way down into the fully immersive mode. And that would be, so all that I can really see is the screens directly in front of me. This is great if we're kind of sitting somewhere, you know, trying to do a focused task. Um, or even if we're out and about, if we're just standing still trying to look at something, we can always pull the visor down um, and that would you know, give us the full benefit of the screens. So we've seen how we can read with eSight, but what happens if our eyes are feeling tired and uh, we want to give them a rest, but we still want to read? Uh, luckily, eSight does have an OCR feature whereby it's able to read printed text aloud to us. To get to that, we're going to go into the menu here. So we're going to go to menu, then find the tools menu, and then find OCR. Let's do that now. All right, so we've gone into the OCR mode and we have a box in front of us and anything inside that box will be read aloud and also displayed on the screens in here. So let's look at our flyer here. Okay, I've got some text in my box here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture and hopefully it will be read to us in a second. Okay, excellent. And I've just hit the back button to get out of there. So we heard the text was read aloud to us. It did a good job. If we wanted to, we could have magnified the text on the screens if we wanted to, to read along as well. Another feature which eSight has, which I find particularly cool, is the ability to uh, display inputted video. And so using an HDMI cable, which I have currently connected, here we go, this is it. Uh, we can connect any source which outputs HDMI into the eSight and it will then be displayed directly on the video screens. And so to the left of me at the moment, there should be an image and that's actually a video which is paused, which is currently on the computer that I have here. And so it's been directly inputted to the electronic uh, screens of the eSight. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video here. And I'm hearing the sound from the video directly from the headset and I can see the video directly on the video screens here and it looks really good. Now, what's the benefit of this? Well, number one, the screens are right in front of us, but number two, I can go ahead now and magnify this image using my magnification dial. And of course, whenever we magnify, we don't see the entire image anymore, but no problem with eSight, I can just move my head to look around the zoomed in image. And this is really, really cool. So now I'm just looking around the video. Okay, let's stop the video there. 
So what would I use this for? Well, I can use it for lots of different things. I can use it to input, as I'm doing here, uh, the image from a computer. I could use it to input the image from a, uh, a cable box. I could use it to input the image from a games console. Anything that outputs video, I can put straight into here. Now you might ask, okay, well, why would you want to do that? Because you can just look straight at the TV or straight at the computer and zoom in on them like this. And yes, that's true. However, when you look at a screen through another camera, through another screen, then you are gonna lose some of the resolution of the image. Whereas if you plug directly in, then you aren't losing any resolution. And so the image is clearer and looks better. So thank you for watching this video about the eSight 3. I hope you found it useful. It's a really cool wearable, but as with any wearable, you really need to try it to see whether it works for you. One way that you could try it is by coming to visit us at Vision Forward in Milwaukee. We would be glad to have you and you could call 414-615-0103 if you wanted to arrange an appointment or if you just wanted to call and talk about other assistive technology products. You can visit us online at vision-forward.org and you can also email infocus at vision-forward.org. Please, if you liked this video, uh, please give us a like and subscribe. It all helps. And uh, until next time, have a great